Hello YouTube. So welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft mods on a server with Forge. So the first thing you got to do is you need to go to this website. That's right, uh, files.minecraftforge.net. The link will be available in the description or you can Google it. And then you need to look for the mod that you want to install. So if you're installing like Farmcraft 4 that I'm going to show you in this video, so you need to first check out that uh, the latest version for this mod is available for which version of Minecraft so it's it says uh, it's available for Minecraft 1.7.2 so it's uh, so you need to go to Forge and then you need to download this uh, Forge for that version of Minecraft so if you download a different one um, the mod may not work in your video so so then uh, you need what you need to do is you need to download the installer I would suggest downloading the recommended one because it might have uh, the latest one might have bugs. So download the installer for the recommended build. That's right here. And then what you gotta do is you need to create a uh, folder. I'm gonna do it right here. I'm gonna create Minecraft server with Forge. Sorry. So it's empty and then uh, once you have downloaded Forge you need to run it and then if you're doing it on a uh, single player uh, then you need to install the client if you're doing it on a server you need to install the server so I'm going to do it with the server I'm going to change the location go to computer E and then I'm going to do it right here so then you need, just need to click OK and then it downloads it. Um, it might take like 10 minutes so I'm gonna skip this part. So once it's done, I'll be right back with you guys. So here we are uh, guys, we're right back after it's done installed. So uh, it's the normal Minecraft server so you don't need 1.7.2 Minecraft server. Um, it's for the server without mod. So if you are doing it with mod, you need to open this. So once you launch it, uh, let let it load first. Yeah. So it's just like the normal uh, Minecraft server, and uh, then it's loading all the mods and stuff. Uh, so it creates the spawn and all that kind of thing then then you need to click uh, type slash stop then the server will stop so then you will generate all these files uh, these files already exist in my folder but you won't have these files so then you need to open your server thing uh, with notepad and then if you're using a crack minecraft uh, launcher then you need to change the online mode to false and uh, yeah, and then you need to go to the browser and then download your mod. I have my mod uh, right on the desktop. I'm gonna copy Tomcraft 4 and go into my mod mods folder, and then I'm gonna paste it. So here I have my mod. Then I'm gonna open it again. Start my server. So once the server has started, it just loads it all all its files. So just go and launch Minecraft. So after installing Forge, you need to go to Edit Profile, and then you need to, uh, most probably you would be having it like this: Release 1.7.4. But you need to go ahead and change it to the latest Forge version which you downloaded. Mine is 1. 1060, 1.7.2 Forge. I'm gonna save profile and then click play. So it should start without any problems. Let's see. So 
So once you have your Minecraft, the, uh, you can see it says seven mods loaded. I don't know. I guess I have extra mods in here. Yeah, I have not enough and all that kind of stuff. But if I go to multiplayer, and here's my server. I'm gonna quickly go into it. It's my Thonkraft 4 save, as you can see, right here. And I've got an EI because I've installed it on my other folder. So, yeah, basically that's it. So you have uh, it in the server, and it's the proof like I have players list on here. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button down there and if you find this video helpful make sure to subscribe and if you have any doubts feel free to put them in the comment section down below and till then goodbye